In this video, I will provide you with two different things to consider when figuring out the height of a fireplace chimney. And I'm actually remaking this video because one of our viewers pointed out that I had a mistake in my video. And I don't know if one part of it has always been a building code, but this is the part that I got right. And that would be coming out 10 feet level off of the farthest point of the roof and then extending the fireplace up another two feet. So we're going to go back 10 feet and you can do this by simply placing one end of a two by four or two by six, a straight piece of lumber that is 10 foot long on top of the roof and then leveling it and then just simply making a mark either on the chimney that you're building or measuring down vertically from the top of this line to the top of the roof and then simply add at least two feet to that measurement. And if the fireplace is located about 10 feet away from the ridge or the top of the roof, then this formula here should work just fine. And you shouldn't have a problem if it gets a little closer to the ridge. Now here's the part of the building code that I missed. And the reason why I missed it is because Almost everybody I knew was using this formula. I did not realize there is a three foot minimum height for the fireplace chimney. And as you can see here, this wouldn't be a problem. We have more than three feet and we're still meeting our two foot above the ridge line, which is what the building code is suggesting. So something like this, you shouldn't have a problem with, and you're not going to have a problem with something like this. Again, we're two feet higher than the ridge and the chimney is taller than three feet from the highest side of the roof. Not this side, not the lowest side or the longest side of the chimney, but the highest side of the roof. And if we move it closer to the ridge, you can see where we're going to run into trouble here. Because even though we have our two foot minimum measurement here, we no longer have our three foot minimum measurement. And we'll simply need to raise the height of the roof. So again, three foot minimum for the chimney protruding out of the highest side of the roof. And even though I provided you with a measurement from the top of this side, I believe the top of the chimney is actually going to be the top of this part of the chimney or the top of the flue. However, you would need to verify that with your local building department. And yes, I've been on jobs before where they've had to raise the chimney because the building inspector interpreted the building code a little different than the contractor. So in my opinion, they're referring to the top of the chimney is going to be this part, not anything that you're going to add onto it like a spark arrestor. But I'm not about to suggest that they don't have some type of chimney extensions you might be able to use on your project. So again, not too difficult for this. Check with your local building department to verify your local building codes and then get everything in writing from them. Do not just take someone's word for it unless you're planning on building the chimney taller to begin with, which I hate to say is exactly what I would do. I would take my three foot measurement from the top of the highest point and then actually build the box around the flue to the minimum height because the higher it is, the more draft you're going to get, the more air that's going to be pulled out of the chimney to reduce or eliminate the possibility of any smoke lingering in the house. We got to get that smoke, fire that's burning in the chimney, in the fireplace, out of the house, along with the heat, I should point out, as fast as we can. And if it's only going to require a few more dollars, do it.